Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. It's Brenda. I'm so happy that you're all here. We're going to play today with our mixed media papers from Global Land. And if you don't know what Global Land is, um, every month I do an unboxing and then we we create with their pages. And I have a playlist for them, so you can go and check out those videos if you'd like. And if you go to their site and you purchase anything, you'll receive 10% off of your purchase. These, this product here will be linked in the description box as well as the other ones from our unboxing. So they're ready made. We don't have to do it. Don't have to do anything to them except make them pretty. So I did a couple. I just, I did these two. I did some stamping and I have some silhouette stamps, word stamps, and then I did some stenciling on it just for fun. I have, I have some ideas of what I'd like to do. And then this one, <clears throat> excuse me, I did some stenciling and stamping and then I added some words onto it just to um, try different things with it. So I have this container. We're just going to do with the stamps today. I have some fairy stamps here. I have, you know, these are Christmas ones. I probably won't be using those, but they're just in here. But I have all kinds of fairy stamps that um, I'm hoping we'll use a few of them anyway. Just see how far we go. And I'm not cutting them down because I want to back them together and I did this fold in here because I want them to be a pocket flip kind of deal so yeah so I figured that's what we'll do but I I just wanted to show you this quick I have a um, oh my goodness what is that magazine it's a magazine full of stamping and just loveliness. If I if I remember what it's called, I will put it down below. I'm just trying to see if I any of the pages are there, but no. So this is what I created. And I, all I did is cut out pictures and little bits and I added them into this folio. And then I added in some of the things that I've made, you know, I made this and then this one thank you coffee time and then this one and then I just cut out I cut out words and pictures and then when you come to the other side it looks like this and what I want to do is add a, f a couple of flips with we using our uh, global land papers to uh, put in here just to kind of fill it up a little more and so yeah so let's pop that aside but that was my idea anyway so I just I just uh, took out a few pages and yeah, we'll just have a play so if you want to stamp with me do anything of your own just craft along then grab grab whatever you're using if you picked up these papers, then grab those, grab your stamps, you know, and you don't need these. You can just use your cardstock, whatever, and you can stencil on it. You can paint, you can ink, you can do, you can do so many things. So don't, uh, don't worry about this, uh, having this kind of thing. If you've done any, you know, jelly plates, or I have a video for if you don't have a jelly plate with your paints and stuff like that, then uh, do that and yeah, we'll just have a play. So I hope you're all doing good. I'm having a great day. The sun is shining. It's just been so beautiful out. And I'm just going to grab some ink. I'm just going to do stenciling and uh, grab some stamps. These are Tim Holtz, they're roses. 
but I'm not sure how with the colors how they will stand out like I don't want to use black all the time especially when there's other colors that can be used but it really shows up uh, with the different colors here not so much here because it's pretty much the same color but that happened with my first sheet so then I just came along with a different color and uh, and did it so let's do it down here and I know I'm using this same paddle brush but and these are from the Dollar Tree I haven't been able to find any in the last little while which is unfortunate but Hopefully I'll be able to find it, find them again. I want, I'm trying to find some of the bigger ones. So look how pretty that is. If you can see it with the purple, it just makes it pop. But these papers are a great way to, um, you know, to practice your mixed media, especially if you've never done it before. You know, so I'm going to grab... I have this word stamp. Any word stamp will do script, whatever you're using. Like I'm just having a play. I know absolutely nothing <laughs> about mixed media. I'm just winging it. So, and I managed to get this ink pad working. So I'm going to try it and hope that it will be okay. And I'm just doing it this way. I could have grabbed my stamp perfect, you know, where you pop the stamp onto the little uh, window thing and press it in, but I'm just gonna do it this way. And then I'm just gonna lay it down. I have the paper towel there finally to protect my desk or my mat and there I don't know if you can see the writing on there or not but it's so pretty like this ink is supposed to be jet black but I mean it's almost it's almost dry so I'm really um, thankful that I'm getting a little bit out of there anyway So there we go, just a couple spots, and then maybe I'll just put a bit right down here. There we go. So hopefully when I take pictures, um, it'll show up a lot easier in the, in the picture. I'm just going to add this back on. And then I'll, I'll clean my stamps and stuff when I'm when I'm finished. But I've been so enjoying stamping, and you know, like I had not been doing too much of it, but uh, it's really nice to get the stamps out and just play. I'm not sure how this is going to be on this color, but we'll see. As long as I can get enough black on there. But this is a little bit of grass. I mean, I'm it's just nice to make a little scene of something, you know, if you can or if you want. It's not a big deal. go and it's not too dark which is unfortunate but uh, I didn't really have a plan I just knew that I wanted to uh, play around with the stamps a couple little rabbits we'll see how they go Mm 
and I could leave them on there, but I just want the pressure of this. Sorry about the noise. But these kinds of projects, I mean, you can do anything that you want. You know, there's no rules. You just have fun, create. This rabbit looks like he's uh, singing <laughs> or something or sniffing the air or doing something. set him with there with him right there <laughs> so I hope you can see that they're just so cute and just add them to the plastic and then I'll wash them it's just to remind me to wash them and then you can add words, you can spatter, uh, ink, paint, you know, you can just, you can do almost anything, well, pretty much anything with this type of uh, craft, you know, you can just keep adding. I have these tiny little mushrooms, they're so awesome. And then I have a bigger one, so. Just gonna grab them out. Like this is just play. That's all we're doing. We're just we're just playing. And if you've done mixed media before, like what kinds of projects are you are you creating or have you created? That's what I'd like to know. Just to and if you have pictures. It'd be so nice to see uh, people's interpretations of uh, of crafting. These are little mushrooms. My other black ink has a uh, it has like a sunken in middle, so it doesn't work at all. So can't really see these ones. So I'm really hoping to get a new block soon. So as soon as that happens, that'll be great. Oh, they're so cute. It's just nice to play. And then this one. Sorry if my head was there, but I don't know how much you can see on the camera, but I'm really hoping that you can see the stamping that's on there. And so we'll do one more. I'm going to, so all I did is I folded up the edge just with my finger. It's about the finger width. And just like that. And then the other page is going to go facing the other way. And then it's going to be like that. So let's do one more if that's okay. Just grab up another page. Try and find something a little lighter. Not sure how much lighter this one is, but we're gonna make it work. And because there's words and numbers, I'm gonna grab these letters. And I'm going to grab this ink. I'm thinking this one will be nice and dark. Mm 
And when I do it, I don't do it the whole thing. I just do different areas of it. Oh yeah, that looks much better. You can see that. I think for this one, I'll, I will use this, uh, this ink. That's so much better to see. Yep, much better. I like that. So that's what I'll do. I'll just use this ink instead of the black. All right. Let's try this. And then we'll add some words to it this time. And yeah. She should fit on my... Nope, she won't. I thought maybe she would fit on my stamp block, but she actually doesn't. So I'm going to do it this way and hopefully it uh, will turn out okay. I think all the ink is on there. All right, let's, I'm just going to bring the tip of it to the very bottom. Use this and I'll get it on there rather than my finger. Oh, it didn't turn out so hot, but I'll use it. Just a little bit of her face didn't come out, but yeah, it's all good because we're going to use it. I don't want to put the words on yet. Get that out of the way. And I'm using the grass again just to go at the bottom. should be able to see it a little better because the paper is lighter. Yep, yeah, a little bit. Okay. We have a uh, have this stamp it's like little vines little uh, flowery type things I'm gonna use that hmm. that stamp pad is thin like skinny so it's uh so I'm just gonna put these vines all over And I just put them at different uh, different levels. Can turn the stamp around. And on the sides. Yeah, the paper, if, if it was a bit lighter, then it wouldn't matter that my black wasn't so uh, dark. But you can see all of it going around and it just fills it and adds uh, texture and interest to it. I won't do it all the way to the bottom. I'm just going to think it's not too bad. like more gray than uh, the than the black and then I just take the edges 
and I fill in the little spots just like that around the sides. So there we go, that goes all the way around. I'm just gonna grab the words again. little edge on that one but that's okay it all works all right put that away for a second and so there we go I might take a um, my watercolor pencil in a brown or something and just try and fill that in We'll see if it works. All right, let's bring this in. So these are the two that we just made. And I didn't add any um, of the vines to this one, but there's nothing that says you have to. I was just checking to see what I had here. Um, bubbles, I don't think bubbles <laughs> will work. No, I'm gonna leave it like that. I, I like the simplicity of it. And then this one will go to the back. I'm just going to fold this little bit up here. There, so I'm gonna, going to add one into my book just to show you what it looks like. I did the wrong side. Imagine that. Goodness. Right? Okay, let me grab my book. I'll figure it out. Take out the things that I showed you. I can go on this side. All right. because this is how I want it, right? So that was an oops on my part. Not the first time. All right. So I'm gonna glue these two edges together because those are what is going to become the uh, mechanism to flip the page. There we go. And anything that's, you know, like that, you can just trim it off. It's all good. I'll trim that once they're both glued together. I'm just going to make sure they're just like that. So it'll be like that. And then I'm going to add a thumb notch right here so that uh, a big tag or something can go inside. Punch. 
and it doesn't have to be a circle. I'm going to I'm going to use this one here. It's just a Stampin' Up punch. It's a it's a tag punch, label punch, whatever you want to call it, and then it just gives it that kind of uh, opening, which is fun. And if you don't like the little nibbies that are there, then just cut them off, just like that. All right, so I'm gonna add it to this side for this one. And then see, it'll open up like that. And then you can, you still have both sides there. So let's glue it together. Don't need much. I mean, this is gonna be a huge pocket, so you can just fill it. Oh, bottom. I did the bottom. Okay. <laughs> so there we go. Oops. There. And any of the white, you can ink all around it if you'd like. I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to trim off these little bits here and then we'll add it into the book. So there we go. So I'm just going to add this. So I just glue the outside of it. And I want to make sure there's enough there so that it's not going to rip out or fall off or whatever. And then I'm, I'm going to add it just before the, the fold because I don't want to interfere with that. And so there we go. It's cute and the colors go and then there's a nice big pocket right there. So what do you think of that? And then you can you can add anything you want to them obviously. This is uh, just giving you some ideas because that's what I enjoy doing. I love to take different products and create with them and give you ideas and then you can just run with it. Right, and then on the other side, this other one will go here probably, just like that. And this one, my folds were quite off each other. So, but I mean, that's okay, because that's where we can trim. So let's do this one. Just try to make it as straight as you can. But they're just fun ideas. And you don't have to have a thumb notch if you don't want to. So. What other punch do I have? Oops. This one might be a little too small. Yep, yeah, that one's too small, so I won't use it. Anyway, I won't put a, a thumb notch in this one. Like I said, you don't have to. There's no, there are no rules. You just create, have fun, and make it your own. And just enjoy. Enjoy the process of everything that you make. You know, it's all going to be beauty going to be beautiful in the end. So let's move these two little ones. And then I'm just going to add it right there. So I just thought I would do this second one as well. And then you can see what they both look like. So the pocket, I don't want to interfere with the pocket. So I'm just going to add it a little bit above the pocket. So there we go. And then it can close. But the paper's gorgeous. I love the paper. So 
it's just fun to use it and to try and think outside the box. So there we go. And then nice big pocket. Well, not dry yet. So I just have to... I didn't check, I guess, before I stuck it in there to cut this bit because it's white. Don't need the white edge. There we go. And a little bit at the bottom. Yep, so this one I didn't check before I glued it in. So, But it's okay because... It's not tightly to the page. It's not glued to entirely to the page, so it's easy enough to open. And there we go. Beautiful. What do you think of this? Let me know in the comments. Questions, comments, please leave them below. And um, yeah, so then all these little lovelies can go back in the pockets. And then this pocket is... It's hidden, you don't even know that there's something there. So how fun is that? This one, same thing, just like that. And I didn't put a pocket there or there. So we'll just put, there's already two there. Let's pop this one in here. They're not in the same place as they were before, but that's okay. And so there we go, my little art book. It's a little bit of fun. And uh, yeah, so let me know in the comments be below what you thought. And uh, yeah, let me know if you try things like this. Let me know that too. I'd really like to uh, find more, find out more, okay? Thanks so much for being here, everyone. I so appreciate you all. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you because, you know, I can't do this without you. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, Share the video if you think somebody else might enjoy it. Take care. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.